I'm very excited today because I'm going to be trying out my very first recipe out of Brookdale's brand new healthy book called Heavenly and Healthy Foods filled with the most amazing recipes from breakfast, lunch, dinner, dips like hummus and tzatziki, all the way through to yummy, delicious desserts. And the one that I've chosen to do first are whole wheat scones, because I like anything baked, preferably cake, but we're trying to be healthy today, so whole wheat scones are a good substitute. And it really depends on what mood you're in. Either you can dress them up a little bit with things like cheese and jam, or you can have healthier alternatives like low-fat cottage cheese, avo and honey. So the combinations are endless, and that's what's amazing. If you've got a creative outlook, then anything's possible. So to get started with this recipe, you have to get all your dry ingredients, which I've already sifted and weighed and put into their own individual bowls. Mixing them all together into one big bowl, adding your butter and just literally crumbling the dry ingredients together with the butter, making a nice big hole, adding your yogurt, folding everything together, kneading it out onto a table with some nice cake flour and then cutting your little scones out and then popping them in the oven. This recipe is really quick and easy and it just depends on what kind of mood you're in today as to what kind of topping you're going to add. So start with the whole wheat flour, just add that into your bowl, your cake flour, add that in, brown sugar, and then your two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, now we're gonna get a little bit dirty, so I think it's important to take the rings off if you don't wanna destroy those. Okay, I'm wearing quite a few today, silly thinking. And then with the fingers, which is actually quite nice, getting your hands dirty, you're gonna take the butter and you're gonna rub the dry ingredients with the butter to form like a crumbly type of texture. Well, this is incredibly therapeutic, rubbing them between my fingers like this, but I have realized that I have forgotten to turn the oven on. So let me just quickly do that before I go too far. Sorry, oven. On 200 degrees, so it's quite high. Okay, so you just keep crumbling the flour ingredients and the dry ingredients together with the butter until it kind of looks like thick bread crumbs. And then you're gonna make a big well inside the bowl. And all you do is you pour your yogurt into the middle of the well, gently folding in the dry ingredients. Okay, now your hands are going to get very messy, but you do need to make sure that all the dry ingredients have got a little bit of yogurt all over them so that they are moist. Very sticky. <laughs> One rattled mess I'm making. I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. Mixture looks good. Check that out, delicious. Put quite a bit of flour out on your surface, just so your dough doesn't stick. Like that, to smooth it out. Okay, now get your dough out and place it on your surface. And gently just squish it out. And don't press too hard, otherwise you're gonna take all the air out of it and your scones are gonna land up very flat. Now you can find any kind of round thing to cut out your scone. So you should ideally have a scone cutter, but I don't have one of those in my kitchen. So you can use a lid of any one of your old jars. You can use a little plastic container, which is then easily washable. Or I've got a little like stainless steel kind of sauce jar. So I'm gonna use the Tupperware because it's got the sharpest edge. All right, so just gently press down, turn. It's perfect onto your tray. Word of advice, don't make any kind of bread dough with flour with a bow hanging from your chest because I am one hell of a mess over here. Once you've done that, I want you to take your trays, pop them into the oven and you're going to bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so far so good. Yum, those look amazing. Okay. So whole wheat scones are done and now it's just time to dress them with the topping of your choice. There's lots of different types of healthy options. A really great option would be avocado, sesame seeds and cottage cheese. Or you can go the more traditional treat like topping which is your grated gouda and jam. This is quite unusual, it's some really finely sliced apple with pecanut and mayonnaise, it's got a nice tang to it, unusual but very healthy, full of fibre and all your good oils. 
Then you could have something like honey and cottage cheese as well, or your brie more decadent with a little bit of pesto. So it really does depend on your palate. So time to see if hubby approves. Marius, breakfast is served. Can we do this all the time? Because I've never seen you yeah, so diligent in I'm the kitchen. I'm enjoying this. I must say it helps when you've got a beautiful kitchen. And yeah, I'm trying to inspire people to believe that healthy food isn't always costly, it doesn't always take a lot of time, and that it can taste good.